Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is find your xfigames.ini file and you're going to go to the bottom and insert this entry right at the bottom. I will put the entry in the description so you can copy and paste it over. And when you've done that you're going to give it a short name. Uh, you can name it what you want, but I've named it this because it's close to the Far Cry 3 short name. And you're going to save that and close it. Then you're going to go to the icons folder. This is only if you want to have an icon showing when you're playing the game, but no one else is going to see it, only you. Then you're going to copy and paste the Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon icon into the folder and give it the name of the short name. Then you're going to close that and go into Xfire and detect games. Also, you will be the only one that can see the icon that you have assigned to the game. That everyone else won't be able to see it because they don't have it in the icons folder. Yours won't be in the list at this moment, so you're going to have to go to the not installed list and find it in the list. It should be um, just under Far Cry 3 if you haven't got it or Far Cry 2 in between those two. And then when you've done that you're going to browse for the executable files and it should work then. So what we're going to do now is launch the game and show you what the in-game looks like. Okay, so now that you've launched the game, if you chose to have the in-game delay so that you can use Steam or Uplay overlay, you'll have to wait about 30 seconds or something. I've just uh, skipped the delay to show you what the overlay looks like and to show you that it is working. So from here you can send messages, make screenshots, record gameplay, anything you want to do. Remember to like and subscribe if this video has helped you. Thanks for watching.